Hello everyone, um, this is the start of a brand new series in which I'm going to show you how to make a front-end interface which will read and write from a back-end SQL or access database um, with various access VBA tips and tricks in between. So let's start by having a look at the interface. So I'm using Office 365 here, which is currently on Access 2016. So because the series is just going to be on creating a front end, uh, we're not actually going to use any of the Access database functionality within here, um, because it's always best practice to separate the back end and the front end. Um, so even when using an Access database as a back end, um, I would still keep the front end um, in a separate database file. Um, so to create our form, uh, we will just click here and we're just going to click on to create blank form. Um, you can use the wizard, um, but because I know um, already how I want to make it, um, so I'm just going to do it from scratch instead. So in here, I'm just going to use the design functionality and I'm going to click on to label here and let's just make a label just so that we've got something to look at okay so let's just put that down there now so this um, like button here down the side is a record selector um, which I don't want to use for what we're going to build so if I just click on to F4 on my keyboard to display the properties window and I want to see the properties here for the form. So under the format option here, I'm just going to say no to record selectors um, and also no to navigation buttons as well. So if I just save this here, now I'm just going to call it YPN for your programming network. And I think it's always good practice to prefix this with FRM um, so that we know uh, that it's a form when we are referencing it later within our VBA. So let's just save that. And if we go back into design mode here, let's just set the caption and we'll just call it YPN so that here, which is the caption, um, it will display um, just YPN there when we actually run it. And if we want to change the colour of the form, we can do that here. And let's just set it to a lovely grey there. Um, and so let's change the text to black so that we can actually see it. So we can open up the VBA screen by clicking Alt and F11 on our keyboard or we can just click the view code button here um, for that. So we want to go to form and we're going to click into load here. Um, we have other options if you're very simple we'll probably go through most of these throughout the series but for now we just want to fill in the um, form load sub um, and the only thing that we're going to write in here um, for now is do command maximize um, and all that basically is saying is when the form opens uh, make it full screen um, so not very exciting <laughs> yet so we'll just save that and when we go back here, um, we can double click that. Um, we know there that it's gone full screen. Um, it says YPN here is the caption we set. Um, and we've also got our label there um, saying hello world. So let's save our database now. Um, yep, close that. And let's just call it YPN for now. So we've saved that there. Um, that's pretty much all we're going to cover in this one. Um, I'm trying to keep the tutorials short and to the point so that you can dip in and out of the things that you want to learn. Um, if you did find this uh, useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. 
um, feel free to add any comments below. Um, the next tutorial in the series will be adding some text boxes um, to our form and populating them um, within the um, with some VBA. So thank you for watching.